Welcome back to A La Carte Cooking, our 12 cocktails of Christmas. On this episode, we are making an eggnog martini. Now you might have noticed that we have a theme with our cocktails. It's called Ingredients in Our House. <laughs> so, we always have eggnog during the holiday season. You might even see an episode where we do spiked hot eggnog. Ooh, so good. But this one, we're gonna do a cold drink because who doesn't love a classic martini? In this martini, it's very simple. Vodka, you can buy any type of vodka. Then we have amaretto. Maybe not everybody has amaretto, but if you love having a Godfather cocktail, you probably have amaretto in your house. Amaretto, wonderful little liqueur. Then we've got our eggnog. It's a simple, simple recipe. We're gonna do one and a half shots of vodka, one shot of amaretto liqueur, two shots of eggnog, Garnish it with the classic nutmeg. All right, let's get to making this. We're going to shake this up. Let's get some ice going here. You know, it's funny. I even said, I probably won't have to go to the fridge this episode. Nope, had to go to the fridge. Gotta get the ice. All right, let's get some vodka in here. There we go, skosh extra. We'll just kind of go a little bit extra. I felt like I was a little short on that one. There we go, one and a half more vodka. Amaretto. Now, amaretto is an almond liqueur. It's delicious. Almond is kind of one of those ingredients you see a lot in Christmas. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's a slavish thing. I'm not sure. But for us, our family always did these cool little cookies and stuff. And we would use an almond filling. The filling is just delicious. Kind of hard to find. But <clears throat> the almond liqueur, wonderful. In it goes. And then two ounces of eggnog. There's one. Oh, I was right. I thought, I felt, oh, there's probably two ounces in here. Bam, two ounces. In it goes. Now you just shake this up. Kind of get a little holiday shake in there. Oh, I am not the best sand in the world, I'll tell you that much. I'm a little too skinny for that one. <laughs> but I'm a, I, I, I pride myself on making some delicious homemade cocktails, that's for sure. Get our little strainer here. It's kind of nice to have one of these strainers. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend getting it. It kind of holds back all the ice and the foam. Look at that. Okay. And then a little garnish with nutmeg. Because it looks delicious. And now for the real test. Does it taste good? Oh, that's very tasty. Super tasty. This actually shines through really nicely. And the eggnog is not super overpowering. Recipe is going to vary depending on the eggnog that you do. We like to use the Dairy Gold eggnog, but some people like the Southern Comfort eggnog. That's a great one too. I think this recipe is a great recipe. It's very simple. If you've got the amaretto, if you don't have the amaretto, throw in some other fun liqueur. Who cares? Mm. That's good. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. This was a very simple episode for you. Hopefully you uh, got some value out of this cocktail. If you have a recipe that you love making at home with your family, share it. Comment in the comment section and we'll give it a shot. And if it's something that we have no idea what we're doing with, that's okay. We'll still give it a shot. But anyways, guys, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll uh, see you on the next episode. Merry Christmas.